Hi everyone, how's it going? Welcome to this tutorial. My name is Mari Carmen and I will show you how to download digital elevation models from the NASA website through Earth Data and how to open and modify them in QGIS. So let's start. To begin with, we open Google and we write Earth Data NASA. Now that we're here, we click on the first option and we are going to have this website. In this website, we are going to scroll down a little bit and we're going to find this button. This button is Find Data. So we click on Find Data and we wait. We close this, um, this little thing and now we have this website. In this website we can find our study areas and in this case my study area is in Mexico. It's the small state of Tlaxcala. So let's go to Tlaxcala. Here I have Tlaxcala. I want a rectangle bigger than Tlaxcala. I don't have coordinates so I am going to use the option of search by a spatial rectangle. So I click on this on this button and then I'll zoom out a little bit and draw a rectangle around Plexcala. So after having my rectangle I am going to write digital elevation model in the searching in the searching um, option. So digital elevation model in this case I know which elevation model I want and here it is. I want this one it's the Aster Global Digital Elevation Model version 2. In this case, it says two granules. When it says true two granules, it means that I have two rectangles um, that, that are here in my study area. Before clicking on this option, I'm going to log in. So I'll just click on Air Data Login and it's going to take a while. And now we are back. After logging in, I think it's better if you log in before, um, before searching, but in this case I, I did it afterwards. If you don't have an account, you only have to create an account in the option where it says login. You just click, click on there and then it will ask some, some inf information and, uh, and you only have to fill in and then you are going to have um, your username and your password and then you can log in. So I'm already logged in. I have my study area here in this rectangle. I, I am asking for a digital elevation model and here I have one. Aster Global Digital Elevation Model. Two granules. I'm going to click on, on this one and if you see here here is the reason that we have two granules. So here I have one satellite image or one digital elevation model and here I have another one. So to cover the entire state of Tlaxcala I need these two ones. And here I have the two granules that I need. After this I'm just going to click on download data. Uh, I have my two granules. If you have more granules then just uh, make sure that, that your four granules or six granules are covering your study area. And then here it says two of two so I'll say download the data.
here in the review we have two granules we have 37.3 megabytes and the description of the information so we are going to uh, to fill in this information data usage I'm going to use it for water and then I agree and I agree here as well then I'll click on continue and then I am not going to do it again because I, I did it in the morning I uh, if you want to if you want to um, ask for this information you need to click on submit after clicking on submit you need to you need to wait it's going to um, they are going to send the information to your email in this case uh, it took maybe one or two hours to get to my email but I have it now so after clicking on submit and waiting you go to your to your email and you get this notification order you have your order order notification order ID and and here you have all this information so you can read all this information if you want or else you go directly to the download link here I have a download link I'm just going to click on it and it will open and you are going to uh, start downloading your information in this case I downloaded the, the zip file if you click on the other link you have different um, different folders and different files and you can download them separately in this case I, I downloaded them all together I'm going to cancel this um, this activity and I've already downloaded them so I have them in this folder I'm going to delete this and you're going to have a zip file I'm just going to extract it here and then I have a new folder in this folder we also have um, more zip files so I'm going to extract one here and the other one as well rename okay so now I have here my digital elevation models and we are going to open them in QGIS to do that we open QGIS in this case I have the 2.18.15 version maybe you have the 3.0 version uh, I'm working with the 2.18.15 in this tutorial so you open QGIS and you open a new project when you have your new project you're going to add raster layer and you're going to look for your new digital elevation models which are going to be inside your folder in this case I have the 098 and the 099 uh, we're going to use the ones that says digital elevation model or DEM so I'm going to select the first DEM and the second one then I'll say open and here we have two digital elevation models I'm going to close this one and then open it again so you can see that there are two digital elevation models or two rasters in this case I want to work only with one raster not two different ones so I want this to be together for them to be together I need to go to raster then miscellaneous 
Merge, Input Files, and I'm going to select the Digital Elevation Model Raster, the 98.1 and the 99.1. I'll say Open, and uh, everything here is OK. So, OK. Oh, well, before that, you select the output file. So go to select and you're going to create a new one. So in this case, I'm going to write Laxcala and save. And then you say OK. Process is complete. And now you have just one raster. Here you have the two old ones, and here you have the new one. So this digital elevation model, it doesn't look like, a, like an elevation model yet. What we can do is to uh, give, give it another style. So you go to uh, right click on your new raster, properties, and here in properties, you change the render type to single band pseudo color and then I like this color inferno so I just classify in this case you can classify as you wish I'm going to leave it as as it is right here and then apply so in this case we can see that there are different colors for different elevations. Let's just analyze a little bit this raster. I have a minimum elevation of 718 meters and my maximum elevation is 3621. Probably it is more but the, um, the classification is uh, up to 3000 621. If we want to see the, the minimum and maximum, we go to properties and then go to histogram. And here we have some, some elevations about 4,000 meters. Uh, there are, they are not very frequent. The minimum elevation that we have is 80 and the maximum elevation we have is 5,494. Okay. And we can see that the darker colors are the minimum elevations or less than 718. And the brighter areas, these yellow ones, they are the maximum elevations or more than 3,621. So this is our digital elevation model. We've, um, we've modified it, we've merged it, and you can um, you can modify it as you wish. You can change the style and then you can use it to analyze your data. In the following tutorials, I'll, I'll show you how to analyze this digital elevation model. But for this tutorial, this is all. I hope it's useful for you and I hope to see you again. Thank you.